Hi there. This is going to be a brief overview of the college incentive program offered by University Academy Foundation. This will tell you what you need to know in order to apply and receive the CIP award. So what is the college incentive program, also known as the CIP? The CIP rewards students' academic achievements reflected by their prior semester grades by providing GPA-based scholarships to assist with the cost of college attendance. The CIP award amounts. It will vary depending on what your GPA was for that semester. So you will receive $1,000 for a 4.0 GPA, a $750 award for 3.0 to a 3.9 GPA, $500 for the 2.0 to 2.9 GPA, and then $100 for below a 2.0 GPA. If you are graduating within that semester, you will receive an additional $500. So if you are graduating with a 2.5 GPA, you will receive $1,000 in total for the CIP award. What makes you eligible to apply? You must be enrolled full-time in the prior semester and enrolled full-time in the upcoming semester. Full-time is usually 12 credit hours at most, if not all, college campuses. So how do you apply for the CIP? You complete the CIP survey, which will be sent to you via email or in a text message. It has various questions on the college you attend, the major that you're studying, what address you'd like the check to be sent, and so on. Next, you will send in your transcript, which will be unofficial or unofficial, which we'll talk about next. And then last thing, we'll send in your upcoming semester schedule if you did not graduate. If you did graduate, your transcript would reflect that you have graduated and finished your degree program. Here are some examples of what an unofficial and, and official transcript look like. Over on the left, we have your official transcript. This is what it normally would look like. It'll have some different things on there that are related to your college, uh, especially the seal in the middle, which makes it the more official document, as well as the signature of the registrar down at the bottom. Uh, these will most likely have a cost anywhere between $8 and maybe $15. Uh, you will have to check with your college and see what the actual cost is. It can be delivered electronically and downloaded as a PDF, or it can be sent in the mail um, via paper USPS um, to our office. Uh, the easiest thing would be to have it delivered electronically through email um, if you don't want to have it risk being late if you're sending it through the actual mail. Over on the right, we have the unofficial transcript. Um, it looks a lot more plain than the official one, and it will most likely say unofficial on it so that you know that it's not the official version of your transcript. Uh, these will most likely be free. Uh, they're downloaded as a PDF. You can download them just right on your computer and then send it to the foundation via email. Um, there shouldn't be like a, a hassle with doing that, and it usually does not have the college seal, but it might just say that it is unofficial somewhere on the document. With sending an unofficial transcript, it must be accompanied by a letter or email from your advisor verifying your grades and credit completion. Over on the left, we have an example from UMKC. This person's advisor had a nice introduction saying who they were and that they were the advisor for that student. They are including the GPA of the student for that semester. They also included the cumulative GPA, which is not necessary for the CIP, but it's nice to have just so we have it there, and then their contact information if we need to contact them for any further questions. So ways to find your transcript. First, start by looking in your college student portal, probably in an academics tab or anywhere that you're able to view your grades. Check the National Student Clearinghouse website for your college. So if you're sending an official transcript, National Student Clearinghouse is a, a big software platform um, that houses and sends transcripts for college students. Google your school name and the word transcripts to find instructions on how to access your transcript. For example, you would go to Google and you would type in K-State transcripts. And one of the results will probably be where you can find your transcript if you attend K-State. Ask your advisor how to access it. Ask an upperclassman how to access it because they've been there for some time. They should know how to find it at that point, hopefully. And then you can visit or call the registrar's office for instructions. 
So uh, registrar's office or on some campus, it might be the uh, like bursar's office, whichever office is handling your grades and transcripts, um, they handle everyone's grades and transcripts. So they should know uh, where to point you in the direction of finding your transcript. Frequently asked questions. What if I was enrolled part-time? You will still receive the $100 persistence award for staying in school. When will the checks be sent? The checks will be mailed out shortly after the deadline for the CIP. It will take some time to process the checks, make sure everyone's address is correct, print labels for the addresses, put them on envelopes, stuff the envelopes, take them to the post office, and then however many days, depending on how far away you are, it will take for the check to go through the mail through the post office. What if I don't have a bank account? I would highly suggest that you open one. As a college student, you'll be turning into a, a young adult and young professional after you graduate. It'd be very important for you to be able to manage your money some kind of way other than having cash in a shoebox somewhere into, in your room. So I would highly suggest opening a bank account if you don't have one already, or use a check cashing service that is somewhere in your area where you are at school. Can I get an extension? Yes, depending on the circumstances that are preventing you from being able to complete the CIP uh, application and eligibility, there is a way for you to get an extension. You would just have to email or contact the Alumni Success Program Director with your specific details on uh, what is going on with your situation. For more information, visit the Alumni Success Resource site or contact the Alumni Success Program Director. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.